So, it finally happened. This poor little motor died. Power supply heated up, motor started groaning, then stopped. To all the people who use this motor for this tool, sorry! So I went to my electrician friend with tears in my eyes. My motor died! So after he gave me a tissue, scrounged through a box of motors, and handed me this little beauty, apparently used for robotics. Uh, 3580 revs, 24 volts, 6 mil shaft. You just can't trust a motor with 3 mil shafts. I've been looking at 50 mil spindle motors, 500 volt, 12,000 revs. Trouble is they're too big. And we've got to stick to mini lathe specifics. If it won't fit on a mini lathe, it's too friggin' big. So, I cut this uh, piece off in the lathe. Four jaw chuck live center parting tool carefully real carefully two holes yep that'll work then i thought eh, let's get rid of the pulley system why not just attach an er16 collet direct to the motor okay preliminary sketch motor lump of um, aluminium couple of brackets electronics board then I thought mm, okay next sketch I want to be able to recess the motor so it sits square and uh, move a couple of holes up to move the whole thing back because when you put a collet chuck and a drill or a mill or a grinder it gets too close to the work in certain configurations then I thought okay back to the drawing board I haven't got 50 mil aluminium to go from there to there so I've got 40 mil and uh, I'm going to use a 10 mil spacer to recess the motor and keep it straight. L-shaped bracket, straight bracket, and we're going to mount the board in there. Wish me luck. When I cut the front knob off the motor, the parting tool left a bit of a hill. So I've um, mounted this in the forward jaw chuck, wires running out through the hole, and the shaft is held on the... Um, drill chuck so the shaft is running inside the motor but it kept everything stable and uh, solved the problem For my next trick, I'd like to perform an attachment procedure to join that to that, the extension to the body, and I'm going to use six socket head cap screws. No, socket head screws. These things, four mil. Okay. Cut. For an extra couple of minutes it's always worthwhile to try and drill two pieces of metal at the same time. It saves in accuracies and grief and swearing.
So as you can see, I've got a bit of a chattering problem. I went through all the possible causes, speed, feed rate, the length of the boring bar. I must have had a bit of a brain fart because then I realised that the cutters should have a round thing on the bottom. Um, what's that called? Um, half a diameter. A radius. Yeah, you should radius your cutters to get a decent cut. These things come out of India uh, razor sharp and need to be adjusted. That's better. Quick update. Uh, my Sparky friend brought over this neat little 3D printed box with lid that'll hold all the electronics, all the switches up the front here. So now I've been mounting it to the body. So that goes in like that held on with a couple of screws i've cut a channel for the wiring so when the mounting plate goes on it'll hide it Oh yeah. I gave the cable braiding a bit of a haircut with a piece of shim and a soldering iron.
I love these screws. They they lock up well. They're better than Allen keys. I just can never remember their name. Um, that thing the missus does too much of. Uh, Torx. Yeah, Torx screws. I heard that. Oops. Here I'm using the screws from the 10mm extension to attach the electronics box. Brown goes to orange. Yes. Notice how Sparky uses two fingers to hold the solder while he uh, primes the, the wire. Incredible. This is where he says, OK, everything is connected. You do the rest. Bugger. All right, after about four hours of um, head scratching and swearing, I did it. I've got the grinder set up for the next project. I'm going to make a, um, what's those things old ladies wear on their chest? Um, uh, a brooch. I'm going to make a brooch tool. High speed steel, 7.5 ish. Um, I need to make a square hole in something, and I'm going to use the grinder. Now that I've got a working one, to make it with diamond wheel, backing plate so it doesn't flex. See you in the next video.